this is Ebo Niger Mama. You are welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, you are welcome. And if you have been here before, you are also welcome. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And guys, don't mind me, I'm doing video here. The earth is so dark, no light. And uh, I just want the video to be bright a little bit. So that's why I'm doing it here. I don't have red light yet, so that's why I'm doing it here. So, the reason why I'm here today to do this video is because of the reactions and the comments I got when I do a video concerning my experience or my experiences in church. That is why I came here today to do this video so after doing those videos i got a lot of positive comments i got a lot of bad comments i got a lot of prayers and i also have a lot of testimonies and i also got some people's support God bless you all that have been supporting me in one way or the other. Anywhere you got the things you used to support me for, God will bless you. So, the reason why I'm here today, some people commented that uh, I'm spoiling a man of God's name, that uh, we are the agent, that uh, uh, I'm agent of a, a, a setter, that we are the people that are destroying God's name, we are slandering men of God. Uh, we are talking about the about men of God. We should not judge. We should not talk evil about men of God. I say, eh? Where are these people from? Are these from this the same universe that we are living? I make a video to talk about my own experience. Guys, don't... Uh, you might be seeing my daughter going up and down, she's selling, that is why you see her going up and down. So it push no bother about the distractions. So let me continue. So people are saying that uh, we are agents of devil, we are destroying men of God's name. I do a video to talk about my own experience. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about other people's experience. You might go to church, you have your own experience. I went to church, I have my own experience. That is why I say, let me share. I share my experience because of what a lot of people have been going through in church, because of the way they are being scammed, because of the way they are being treated in church. I say, let me share my experience so that people will learn from what I went through in the hands of so-called men of God. So for somebody to come up for somebody to comment in my video saying that I'm destroying men of God's name, that is your opinion. If I have the opportunity to see that people are being scammed, people are being deceived just as I was deceived, just as I was scammed, I'm ready to share my experience to let people know that what you see is not what you get. So, you saying that you are at your own. My well, the only word advice I have for you, you, all those that comment those comments in my comment section, is may you not see something that will make you to be groaning from pillar to post. May God not let you jump condition in life that will make you to be running from one place to another, going from one little daughter to little daughter, going from one church to church. Because if you have such problem, and you have gone through such problem, you will know what it is to, to what it is to suffer in those men of God that call themselves men of God, in those people that call themselves traditional doctors. You will know what it is, just because you have not been through such things, you will feel that the whole world is the same. People are suffering. Do you know what these people are doing to, to others? To people that come to their church seeking for miracles. Some people died in the process of these so-called people. 
you know what they went through. I know I don't want to mention this again because I live in Nigeria and I'm, my kids are still young. I don't want to die and live there. So I don't want anybody to come for me. That is why I say I don't want to mention names again. That church I said I went to, some of you might watch the video, you see what I'm talking about. When they were forcing me to stand up, to stand up that I'm here. I know myself, I know my body, if I'm here, I will know. They were forcing me to stand, telling me I'm here. The small waste I'm managing, the spinal cord I'm managing, they wanted to destroy it. Okay, I'm zooming there now because I can sit on my own. I can move from chair to the wheelchair. Because I mean they destroy the tip permanently and I cannot move on my hands. I cannot move because now I can move my hands. If they not destroy the spinal cord, but I cannot move my body again. What there is it's then that you people will not believe that. Oh my, my many of you might not see believe. So I don't want this video to it to be too long. The people that listen or watch the video to to see what I experience. God bless you all and I pray as you watch those videos you will learn one or two if you see people that have issues that are going from one church to another so that you will be able to advise advise them or if you yourself have problems no it's not matter of somebody that is sick or somebody that is physically challenged you might have one problem or the other that will take you to, to, to churches, that will take you to native doctors. It's not only for them. It might not be a physical problem, but just be wise. So those of you that are making such comments on my video saying, I'm destroying the man of, a, a man of God, that we're not supposed to judge, may God not let you see problem that will carry you from one place to another, that will make you to enter a place where you are not supposed to enter. That is my prayer for you. So whatever you say is your own opinion. That is your own opinion. I will share my experience for people to learn, for people to see, not for you that does not believe. After all, even a lot of people do not believe Jesus Christ when he came. So whatever you believe, all for you. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button and i'm also expecting your comments god bless you